Dear learners, in this session for ophthalmic preparations part 3, I will discuss the evolution of ophthalmic preparations. Means how we can evolute the ophthalmic preparations. So, these are the evolution parameters. First, there will be a sterility test. We have to perform sterility test. Then, clarity test, leakage test, metal particles in ophthalmic products. We have to do assay. Then we have to measure the pH as well as viscosity. Why this evolution parameters are there? Because we have to check that our requirements, the essential requirements is fulfilled or not. Now we will start first test is the sterility test. So sterility test can be performed by two methods. First is a direct inoculation method and second is the membrane filtration method. So, for direct inoculation method, the test samples are test using the culture media. Here, we have to test the samples by using culture media directly. And for membrane filtration, what we can do is, <coughs> we have to filter the test sample using filter, membrane filter. Then wash the membrane filter and transfer it to the media. For example, we have to use over here, it's a soya digest media. Then check for the microbial growth. Now, I have taken some examples. We can see over here the membrane filters. These are the membrane filters where we can use it. And this is the soya bean casein digest medium. Now see over here, this is our control sample. Then after that, this is the Staphylococcus aureus. The growth of Staphylococcus aureus can be seen. Then streptococcus pneumonia, here we can see that. Then candida albicans, we can see. Then the fifth number, bacillus, then sixth, the Escherichia coli and the Salmonella typhi. We can see the growth like this. After that, clarity test. So for clarity test also, it can be measured by two methods. First is the visual inspection and second is the instrumental method. So for visual inspection, what we can do is the bottles are viewed in a light and dark background. We can view the bottles in the light and dark background. Then instrumental method. For instrumental method, what we can do is here, one instrument is there. We have to pass the light and the light gets scattered into the product. After that what happened, what instrument will detect, the instrument images all the undissolved particles in the product. Now here we can see that there is a light background as well as dark background. We have to put this sample over here and we can measure it. Then leakage test. So how we can perform the leakage test? To perform it, what we have to do, take 10 ophthalmic ointments, after that what we have to do? wipe it well at both the ends and it should be sealed keep it in a hot air oven we have to keep it in a hot air oven for 60 degrees centigrade for eight hours if there is no any leakage then the ophthalmic preparation passes the test and if we find any leakage then it will fail the test for all ophthalmic products we can use this leakage detector so directly we can detect the leakage from this instrument for all the ophthalmic product. Now the next is metal particles in our ophthalmic products. So how we can measure any metal particles are present. So for that we have to take 10 gram of 10 ml of ophthalmic preparation in a petri dish. Then it is heated at 85 degree centigrade for 2 hours. Then we have to cool it at a room temperature till it will get solidified. After that slightly invert the petri dish in the stage of a suitable microscope and we have to observe the metallic compounds in it so this is the instrument also here we can measure the metal particles in this way also we have to measure it now the next assay and ph so here what we have to do is the sample is titrated against the standard and what about ph so the pH of ophthalmic preparation should be equal to that of a lacrimal secretions. Optimum pH is 7.4. So whatever ophthalmic preparation is there, the pH should be maintained. It should be equal to 7.4. So the pH is tested using the pH paper or we can say we can use pH meter also. This is the pH meter. So this is the 
pH beta. What we can do is we have to take this solution, we have to dip the electrode in this solution and we have to measure it over here like the instrument or we can use the normal pH paper also. After that viscosity. So to measure viscosity we have to use the Brookfield viscometer. So in the preparation of ophthalmic preparations okay various thickening agents are used. So optimal viscosity should be 15 to 25 centipose. We have to maintain this much viscosity. Now as we know they are added to increase the ocular contact time or we can say to reduce the surface tension. So how we can use it? So we have to measure it by using the Brookfield viscometer or rolling bowl viscometer. So this is the example. This is the Brookfield viscometer. So likewise we have to measure it. Now stability, see uh, it's, it's a very important test, we have to measure, we have to do this stability test. So stability study can be done by two methods, accelerated stability study and freeze throw method. This is how we can perform it. So these are the evolution parameters for ophthalmic preparation. After preparing, we can evaluate our product in this way. Thank you dear learners for watching the video.